Guys, welcome to the Bodega Tapes. I'm a little nervous because <laughs> I'm going to be working with other people. So, which normally I'm good at when it comes to music, I'm very sensitive. Uh, so, hopefully, they still love me by the end of this. Nico has a passion for music. I was always in his vocabulary music, music, music. The main thing that really drew me to like his artistry is his authenticity. So, the Bodega Tapes is centered around a summer theme. A lot of Christians feel like they have to be so uptight and stuck up with their messages when you could just vibe out and still have a dope experience with music. Bodega you go into, it's, it's always going to have something different. I could walk in there to my left, they're going to be chips. I look at the cashier, he's going to have condoms and he's going to have some headphones. It's just mad different stuff a Bodega has. Your one-stop shop for everything. You know, it's, it's a great way for me to, you know, really showcase where I'm at now musically. You know. Right. Plus the bodega is like the corner store of everything. You see how this life progresses. And I feel like that's what this tape has to offer. I'm not just rapping on this and I'm not just singing on this. There's gonna be a nice variety of styles from reggaeton to R&B to your lyrical bar game. And I, I really think it's something that people can really take away from. Guys, welcome to the Bodega Tapes. And no better place to say welcome to than the home of Artemis Enterprises, the studio that took me in and practically taught me everything I needed to know about recording, mixing, and mastering. Music has just been a very important part of my life. Uh, I remember meeting my best friend Jordan for the first time at church, in a performance night at one of our churches, and they asked me and Nico to rap. It was me and him trying to develop our first song ever. We get on stage, and I remember nothing. When I tell you I forgot every line, I forgot every line <laughs> of what I wrote. Somehow that led to us doing two projects together. I don't know how we ever weaseled our way into this music business, but we did. And I'm loving it. Uh, summertime vibes. I mean, it's what the name suggests. It's just a song detailing what we all look for in the summer. I'm just wanting to hook up with somebody. But I wanted to play on what if that search turned into that something sound, more. It'll sound like there's a natural choir behind you and then they're gonna be lower. I needed some components that could really make it stick out. First, I needed a soulful singer. My name is Jael Hunt, eight with two T's. Uh, working with her was very interesting because I had to take someone in a gospel field and kind of put them more in an R&B space. Whatever you're comfortable with that you know you could deliver. Yeah. So I just gotta see how I would sing it though. Summer time vibes. It was Summer challenging, I'm not even gonna lie. It was really challenging because he was like, okay, I want it to be more creative. And that's really good because he knows what he wants. Yeah, 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 I know, I caught that. <sighs> to follow up, I knew no other person could flow as well as my best friend, Jay. His verse, he's talking, hopefully I haven't heard it yet. He rewrote it like 20 times. That's trash. <laughs> I hate you! It's gonna be dope! Alright, now mind you, he just said that his verse was trash. I want this all on the record. So after preparing my lessons every day, I put, <laughs> I put like a word or two into like my notepad on my phone, and then boom, this is what I got. My biggest issue was him, which is how much he held himself back. Like he has such a raw talent when it comes to his lyricism and his, his delivery. With Nico, he always wants to push you, if he, especially if he knows that um, or believes that you can do it. So that's basically what's been happening and that's how I kind of got started in this. So. Jay Myers just has this intricate way of, of using his bars and using his metaphors to deliver the perfect punchline. And as a newly married man, I knew that he can deliver that, that extra component how to go from just a summer vibe into a long-lasting affair. Mario, guys. Mars the Creative. For the remainder of this, I'm going to say Mario. <laughs> he has a great name, but he's just too much of a friend. I have to call him Mario. I Am Free. One of my favorite tracks on this podcast. I was down, but the king put a new hope in me. I believe he is really incredible with his melodies, and I don't think he understands that. Like the concept that he has when develop developing them is amazing to me. 
Like I really do feed off of that energy. And then when he performs, it's like he's a completely different person. It's as if he comes alive into that set. It was a good experience. I was definitely nervous at first, but like I said, he always pushes me to do my best, so. I'm trying. No, no, no. You're trying to hold back. I'm not trying to hold back. <laughs> Feel free, bro. That's what the whole track's about. And the verse that you guys are hearing is, is incredible to me. I feel like it hit right on the nose. Definitely wasn't ready. I was looking for the words. <laughs> Just work on the last two for now. Yeah. That actually works really better. What yeah. I overthink, he's there to let me know. <laughs> yep. Hello, bro. Say Terry Aki. Terry Aki. Terry Aki. <laughs> it, it sounds like a funny name, but I, I, I promise you it, it's with the dopest of concepts. I don't really get enough songs that celebrate who we are as Christians. Um, a lot of times we're, we're stuck with this false sense of humility where we have to like hide our identity and whatever may have you. And I just wanted a song that like anybody in this Christian community could bop to and be like, yeah, this is who I am. And uh, you coming off a little, a little cocky, which is the point. I promise I'm not cocky. I'm just really confident who God made me. Like, even with the phrase teriyaki, in our day, you know, we use drip, like, oh, I got the drip, I got the sauce. And that's just to say, like, you know, I got swag, I got style. What's up, y'all? It's the boy, the architect. As I started creating the Bodega Tapes, you know, I, I told him about it. And he's the one who told me that, you know, he wouldn't mind jumping on a project. And I was just like, no way! And then he told me my homeboy Celis was on here, so I got extra hype. Uh, first question. Mm -hmm. Now that you heard it again, do I actually stand a chance against Celis? <laughs> Celis Hamilton. Yeah. I knew I needed him on this song. His lyrical game is ridiculous. Growing up and watching him perform, I knew I needed to match that. I wanted to do what he did. Like hoping that like things go well and he can actually get on this track. Cause I feel like he would kill it, Architect would kill it, and they would push me to kill it. Cause I'm nervous as heck having him on the track. And why did are you like, in, are you just stopping me in teriyaki? Cause I'm trying to do the whole thing. Oh, I thought you were just doing that. Oh no, I legitimately thought I kept doing things wrong. That's why you stopped oh. me. Yeah, so it's like, I just want you to swag on it the way that you would. So right. the way I had Celis do it, I wanted him to put more Atlanta vibe on it. Getting cooked like teriyaki. God is the blade in your playing your hockey. You can never stop me. Uh, when I wrote with Celis, he ended up overlooking my email. So we ended up doing what we did in the writing sessions. We just sit down and just start jotting down our thoughts. All right, what's this bar? What's this bar? What's this bar? And just to see how quick Celis was able to develop his lines and just how humorous it was. I was, I was just, I was stuck stupid. <laughs> I was like, how do you have this amount of talent to do that in an hour? Architect was the same way. He came in here 12 bars strong, ready, confident. And then we told him he was four bars short. <laughs> Wait, I didn't know my verse was that long then. I still got more. I got four more after this. Yeah, four. I came in and said, play the beat. Give me 10 minutes. I got you. Yeah. Give me 10 minutes. Give me 10 minutes. And we go when everybody's like, I bet. So they vibing out. You know, we grab food, drinks, and everything. And then he plays the beat. So I'm, oh you know, focused, locked in. And I'm realizing I can get locked in easier when I'm around, like, you know, that type of energy, that type of music vibe. I think it was him, man. I think he had to be in here the whole time, man. The whole importance of their bar game was to creatively show the world that as Christians, we can be just as bold in who we are as any average Joe walking down the block thinking that they're cool. Yeah. Yeah. Only because like, you need something that's going to power with the... Uh, Being able to work with as many people as we have, even the production. I know that we usually kind of like just go to ourselves because it's easier. Being able to reach out to like people like Carl. Carol Reed from the Bronx, New York. I have been producing for about 12 years. Like, like some me melody yes. pattern. I knew he played like piano. I just didn't know that he produced. And then it came to a point like, oh, you do music? Yeah, me too. Bro, we should like connect and actually do some music. I was like, yeah, you know, like I, I could really see myself fitting into the vision that you have. So once once I knew the Bodega Tapes was happening, I, I immediately hit him up and we started to do the, the what ended up becoming the last track of this album. Here, what you do? You just drag it down? Yeah. If you want to play it, then just make a MIDI track, put in a simpler, and then drag it into the simpler. <laughs> uh, uh, that would be a hot break.
Good job. Yeah. I've always had this blueprint whenever I made projects. No matter how I start it, I always have to end it with this last hoorah for God. With this song, I really think me and the two other producers that were on it, we had something really incredible. Several different genres on this one song. That's fine. <laughs> I, I don't mind it. This no, is I mean, very I, creative. And it's just about how do we break this down. Doctor, my niggas get without it. Uh, yeah. 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 And they probably just add yeah. like the drums here. Just the... That's perfect. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> it's freaking ridiculous. You freaking nasty. Yo. Oh, that's now. I just gotta write it mm -hmm. and then mix it and then yeah. Get your vocalist up in here. Oh, yeah. bro. Yeah, we got work. And, and I knew I needed something different. I knew I couldn't just be random people singing. So I had to reach out to some people from my old church. Or do you just want me to do both and see what works? I was in right now. It's not fair how big it is. <laughs> <laughs> you know, bees by miles. Booking. You know how Ellie says sometimes you need a sustain note in there? Yeah, the soprano says sustain. Okay. Right. So you're going, uh, you next? How can I bring? Sorry. I need the lyrics. How can I? How can I? How can I? Chris was doing that harmony too. Okay. So, uh, I can do the lower harmony then. You want a bottom? Or you want to. So, Same I'm as that, and then while we drop pretend low, we know still. what they're saying because this is octave talk. I know because I'm an engineer. You may not know because you may not know. Good time and made us laugh. Well, you were just doing in there before I left. Turn, make, turn it into church. Ooh, yeah. yes, do that. Yeah, probably. Let me give it a shot to hear what it sounds like first, though. How can I, how can I live without you? So bringing them in here, having that family bond to just laugh and then record and get, get the choir really just sectioned out. <laughs> Yo, honestly, I'm, I'm kind of happy this is over. Um, not because like it was such a grueling process because I had mad fun with it. Don't get me wrong, but I was like the main person mixing everything. Mm -hmm. So I think what I learned is as much as I want to showcase my mixing ability, I could have just done that with like half of it. So I think you needed this. Yeah, I, I think it didn't need yeah. to be someone else mixing. I think it needed to be you doing this. Bro, the bodega tapes are gonna be something that kind of brings and encapsulates different parts of who we are. Thank you so much for seeing me, seeing my talent. It's more of, I understand that God wants there to be a sense of restoration in the way we think, in the way we live, in the way that we're meant to present ourselves to the world. And so I'm very critical about making sure my writing does that. This isn't just a rap album. This is a, uh, this is bigger than that. It's it's special because of the wording, the messaging, uh, the people you have on it, the beats you picked. The... <laughs> <laughs> and I just want to say thank you for continuing to push me. You're definitely a huge motivation in my life. The thing I realize about you, the more you learn, the more you put that into effect. When you told me you were doing a Spanish song. I do. <laughs> I do. I said, do you even speak Spanish? Never heard you speak Spanish a day in your life. To you young creatives, from rappers to singers, to poets, to engineers, to cinematographers and the like. Run the race, invest in yourself, be wary of the circle, and know your why. Anything else I say, would undersell how beautiful this thing is. So I just can't wait for you to enjoy it. From the start, we were broken, seeking love from a low place. Separated, we were hopeless, but I know that our hope lives. Rise up, you're chosen. You are more than your portion. Take advantage of the moment. The key to heaven are open. He's a home for the orphan. 
refuge for the foreign Demons quiver when they notice the Lord of hosts and his forces He's a peace to the torment, let loose what was dormant Praise through to the storm and Joy comes in the morning, take it back what was stolen No more going through the motions, no more living by emotion Only living what was spoken, Father here is my devotion Take me in it deeper oceans, may your spirit take my motives and mold it to your how can I live without you? How can I, how can I breathe without you? Why would I, why would I breathe?